sort of the big randomized phase three studies are, are fairly, I'll say fairly limited. You know, the past few years, we've had, unfortunately, a number of uh, uh, negative readouts. Uh, probably the biggest national uh, initiative uh, ongoing right now is um, is through the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network called Precision Promise, which is a platform uh, trial design. And that's basically a way of quite trying to test multiple different experimental uh, regimens um, in comparison to standard of care chemotherapy. Um, uh, and that's uh, explored a few different agents from uh, novel monoclonal antibodies to immune-based therapies. We'll see in terms of when we get a readout for those types of studies, because if those look promising, they, they would have sort of an accelerated path to FDA approval. Um, but those are still um, uh, just kind of a, sort of in progress right now. Um, I wouldn't say that there's a huge, uh, huge randomized phase three studies uh, otherwise that I'm that I think we'll have an answer to very soon. There is one for locally advanced disease that's uh, looking at chemotherapy with um, antibody directed against something called connective tissue growth factor uh, called pamrevlumab. Um, and that's being looked at specifically in the locally advanced disease setting. Uh, I think there's quite a bit of interest in earlier stage disease, meaning in resected um, uh, uh, pancreatic cancer. Uh, again, some of that is for the BRCA subset of patients in terms of whether using a laparib in an adjuvant setting may be beneficial in that subgroup of patients. Um, there are some very interesting um, RNA vaccine-based approaches that are sort of um, uh, uh, gaining momentum. Um, uh, so, you know, there's a few uh, of these different strategies that are being uh uh, looked at both for uh, early stage and, and to a lesser degree in, in the advanced setting.